Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to get the HTC One M8 camera app on your Nexus device. To get this one going, you'll need to be running stock Android or comparable AOSP custom RAW. That means this should work with pretty much any Nexus device or phones running something like Cyanogen Mod. You'll also need to have a custom recovery installed, but if you need any help with that part, just check out my full tutorial to link in the description below. That's where you'll also find a pair of download links for the two flashable zips that make this all possible. So head over there and grab both files, then the next step is to boot into custom recovery. To do that, start by powering your Nexus completely off. When the screen goes black, press and hold the volume down and power buttons simultaneously. This will bring up Android's bootloader menu. From here, use the volume down button to highlight recovery mode, then press the power button to select it. Now before you flash anything in custom recovery, it's always a good idea to make a full Nandroid backup. If you end up wanting to get rid of this mod, the easiest way to undo everything would be to restore that backup. But with that said, go ahead and tap the install button. From here, navigate to your device's download folder, then select the HTC One Camera Port v1.1 file. Now just new sir, the developer of this mod put all of the core files into one zip, and that's the file that we've just selected. But he released a quick bug fix zip that will enable higher resolution shooting modes on the HTC Camera app, and that zip should be flashed on top of the first one. So from here, tap the Add More Zips button, then select the HTC One Camera Port v1.2 file. Once you've done that, just swipe the slider at the bottom of the screen, and both zips will be installed in the proper order. When all that's finished, just tap the Reboot System button, and you'll have the HTC One camera installed when you get back up. In the meantime, I'm going to move to a different location so I can demo the camera a bit better. So when you get back up, you'll find the new HTC camera app sitting right in your app drawer. The interface is pretty intuitive. You've got tap to focus and a couple of quick links to shoot video or still photos. Then if you tap the three dot menu button, you'll see some of the more advanced options like white balance, ISO settings, and manual exposure. The camera roll button down here in the corner actually links to the HTC Gallery app, so that's pretty cool. And then finally, if you tap the square button with four circles here, you can see the various shooting modes this camera is capable of. There's split camera, photo booth, selfie mode, and even Zoe, which is a cool little burst shot video mode of sorts. But for more tips and tricks like this, be sure to check out our website over at GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking!